one second. I will type in the group chat. Sorry, hit not the link. Don't link. Please use the ID nine four three. Two five eight two zero four. Password is nine double five seven. Okay, have we done the exercise? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not expecting that. No. Okay. Okay. Good day, you. Okay. First, we'll check the money. What about the? Oh, it's working. <laughs> okay, one second. Morning time, so it's not working. Okay. So that is, I think that is sleeping. That time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's following in your time. <laughs> One second. Yeah, yeah. One second. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These many people are hitting to them, so it is also asking, please give some time. <laughs> yeah, time was very really giving. Okay. Uh, let me open. What is the name you have given? Any, any name? to the report okay let, let me open let me open so when you are searching we have a search type is there you can easily search select the folder and search here if you even if you type single letter also no problem my bread okay one second then you can search by yeah so two reports Can I give only two? Yes. Well, it's taking this much time <laughs> to open. And with the 171 only have used. Very good. Taking that much time. Okay, both are running. Then what the problem? Let me open the Ruby. Just Very busy. Ruby. Any, any name? Yeah, my first would be Oh, what happened to this? It's taking this much time to open. And this one also is taking. Okay, we'll have a look at later, okay? So, how can I save the documents in InfoView? What are the possible ways I have? How can I save? Okay, very good. If I want to save into viewer repository, then how can I save? Yeah, save it. Yeah, the repository means how can I organize my documents here? Very good. Two types. No, no, no. Folder send the category. Again, within the folders, two types. My folder, favorite starting word, my folder sponsor, and the public folder for everybody. 
Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. My favorite and in both, both belongs to your my folder concept. My favorite or in both concept. Public folder, it is for everybody. If I want to create new document, then if I send the web link to this document, what it is going to show to us? Very good. All the available universes in the viewer repository. The viewer repository will be up here. here. Okay, then thread the required universe. Example, yesterday we have taken in e fashion. Then what will be open? If I thread the universe, don't call professor the object. What will be open? Query panel. It is divided into three panels. Left hand side, data manager panel. Data manager panel contains two tabs, data tab and properties tab. Data tab, what information there? First, the search box to find the respective object in the class and object. In the classes. Then, universe name, example, e function. Then all the available classes, objects, and conditional objects. Then the property tab. Query name I can change. How many rows? Execution time. So some query properties I can change. That's the left hand side. Then the right hand side. Result Objects Panel, Query Filters Panel. What is the use of Result Objects Panel? What is the use of Query Filters Panel? Nothing but select statement in the database. Query Filters. Nothing but where class concept in database. Then, if I drag and drop the, drag and drop the required objects into the result objects panel. Required objects to result objects panel. Nothing but our statement. How can I generate the report? If you run the query, then the report will be generated with the default format. What is that? Default representation style. Very good. Representation style means vertical table representation. So my web document finally contains it has two tabs. Edit query tab. Edit report tab. What is the use of edit query tab? Nothing but query panel. Your query panel. Edit report tab. Nothing but report panel. These are the mainly two tabs. What is the use of edit query tab? We can change the query either adding the more objects or removing the object. Report, edit report tab, the complete formatting of your report. Font size, background color, if I want to insert picture, different style, everything we can do in the edit report tab level. So first we can discuss about edit report tab level. Okay. 
So here also left hand side, we are calling as report manager panel. If it is a query tab, we are calling as data manager panel. If it is a query panel, we are calling as data manager panel. It contains two tabs. When it comes to report panel, we are calling as report manager panel. It has four tabs. So, tab 1, data tab, template tab, map tab, then properties tab. So this is the default representation style. My entire web document mainly two tabs. Query tab, query level modification. If I want to add some more objects, I want to remove the object, I want to apply the query level condition. That type of the operations we can do on edit query tab. Edit report tab. The complete representation style, font, changes, color, background, everything we can do in the report tab level. So these are the mainly two tabs. First we can discuss about edit report tab level. Then we come back to the query panel again. Okay, now edit report tab, left hand side, we have four tabs. Data tab, template tab, map tab and properties. Okay, data tab, please see the information, what information is there? Anybody can guess? Very good. Whatever we have selected in the result object, then the data is generated that is available under data tab. So, we are calling them as resultant objects. Okay. Why we are calling as resultant object? Unfortunately, you have deleted the existing format. Then I want to represent my data. Where is my report data? Is available? Nothing but your resultant object holds the data. Your report data is available for these resultant objects. Wherever, if, if I want to represent my data in the sense, I have to use the resultant objects only. So please remember, data tab holds the whatever you have selected under result objects panel in the query panel. When you run the query, it retrieves the data. And the data is available for these resultant objects. Wherever if I want to represent, I need these resultant objects. That is the use of resultant objects. Those are available under data tab. Wherever if I want to represent. Now it is a tab, report tab. In your web document, that is the report tab. Like in your Excel sheet. I can place number of sheets in your Excel. Similarly, my web document, I can add number of report tabs. We are calling as a report here. In Excel sheet, it is calling as a sheet. Now, here we are calling as a web document. My web document can be number of report tabs. If you want to display, wherever if you want to display, I made the first data. wherever if you want to display. If you want to display all of them in a single tab, you can display. If you want to display each individual format as a 
different different data you can display like that you can use number of tabs and you can display the data using the data tab of the resultant object so that is the use of resultant object then please see the next tab template what is the meaning of template very good predefined formats are there table and the chart what tables we are going to use for representation defaultly that is vertical let us suppose and you are expecting as a horizontal i can use a horizontal format cross tab format or form format let's see that now i have placed one one vertical second vertical third vertical fourth vertical okay fourth vertical i want to see it as a horizontal then from the table that is of the predefined format i can select i can simply drag and drop where you want to change on the fourth vertical i want to change drop there automatically it has changed as a horizontally cross tab i want to display as a cross tab select that please drag and drop on the wherever you want to change it's a cross tab form format chart form bar chart line chart area chart pie chart vertical table so this is the way existing one i am changing existing data i am changing in a different style so you can place like that let us suppose and this asked me don't disturb the existing one please display another format Now I have only vertical. Just right click, copy, paste one time, another time, paste totally four. This one should be has a horizontal. This one should be has a cross tab. This one should be as a form. So we can copy and paste it, and we can display required format. That is automatically. Let us suppose I want to display manually. You have to learn manually also. That is automatically. We are just copying and pasting, and you are and you are dropping the required format. But I don't have any data is there. It's empty area. It's empty area. Now I am placing a format. Then automatically it's an empty one. There is no data. If there is data, then it will be changed as a horizontal table. But that is empty workspace area. Automatically it's an empty format. Empty format is there. I want to add the data. Where is my data? very good go to the data tab then add one by one how to add that is horizontal what is the horizontal format then you have to add horizontal please come close close first first time should be drop here to replace the cell because existing empty cells are there that empty cells are we are going to replace with state data now 
I want to add the city below of the street or above of the street. You can decide because it's horizontal. You want to add below of the street, then come closer. Closer, you can come to the street. What is the message? Drop here to insert the city data. Then only the city data will be inserted. Same for sales revenue. You want to add above the street or below the city, as you wish. Come closer. That message should be up here. What is the message? Drop here to insert a cell. Then automatically the data is represented. That is horizontal. Same for vertical. Vertical. How to add manually? State. Now it is vertical, so you have to add vertically. Do you want to add? Yes. First time should be replaced because first time there is empty cell that should be replaced. Now the state is representing. Then city, you can decide you want to add vertically on the left hand side. If you want to add, that message should be up here on the left, left hand side. If you want to add vertically to the right hand side, Vertically, that message should be up here. Drop here to insert a cell. So now the city data is inserted. Same for sales revenue. Come closer. Okay, same for cross tab. Okay, now it is empty area, empty format. If I want to display the data, then go to the data tab. It. You want to display row wise you want to display, column wise you want to display, the advantage of the cross term, row value, column value, their intersection data. Intersection data mainly we can give the preference for measure values. Row and the column we are going to represent the dimension values. State is representing as a row wise. It is representing as a column wise. Sales revenue are going to place into the, into the intersection data. Row value, column value, their intersection data. Okay. If I want to swap the rows to column, just select the state uh, city. Slowly drag and drop on the state level. That should be replaced. Then automatically city will be appear as a row. And column will be up here as a state, same here also. If you want to swap, it should be replaced. If you want to swap, select the data, just replace. That will be replaced like that. Then your homework. Assignment 1. So what will you do? Use the inverse name in fashion. Resultant object, please use the year, state, sales revenue, report layout with the two tabs, two report tabs. Tab one should display four formats. You can say formats or blocks. Then what four formats? Vertical, horizontal, cross tab, form, tab two, four charts or charts. Bar chart, line chart, area chart, pie chart. That is one assignment you can do. Okay. Then, see the map tab, data tab, template tab. Map tab. So map tab, the main tab is the map tab. What is the advantage of the map tab? 
the easily navigation from one tab to another tab. Here it is going to display to you all the tabs in your web document. I can jump to the required tab easily. So that is the use of map tab for easily navigation from one tab to another tab. Then what about for properties tab? So properties tab is completely if you want to change the font, border, background color. How much size, width, completely we can change. Width, height. So everything we can change. What happened? Okay, I didn't see. Okay, no problem. So, what is the use of the property tab? Please see the property tab. In the, I have started the that existing vertical, then automatically these are the common properties. General, display, appearance, page layout, some breaks and sorts. Okay. See the general tab. It is showing the name of that block, that format. So this belongs to block one. If you want to use the structure, structure mode, result mode. This is the structure, this is the result. If you move the cursor on the vertical presentation, it is showing as a block one. So that is the name of your block now. Display, cell spacing, show table header. If I don't want to display the table header, I can disable then automatically the titles are not there for the vertical block. Some extra properties. If the data is not there, then that should not be displayed. Now there is the data, let us suppose if you want to purge it can purge the data like this. So now there is no data but still the format is showing. If I don't want to show the format, now the format is not showing because there is no data. If I enable that, then it is showing. Even if it is empty the data, please display the format. Some extra properties displaying level. Appearance, background color. If you want to display any background color, you can change the background color. You can change some background color. If you want to change the font color, you can change the font color also. No problem. Any border. Do you want to insert any border? The complete formatting. In the border will be align. Header cells you want to change, any text format you want to change, the body cells you want to change, photo cells you want to change. So the complete formatting we can do in the properties tab. That is the use of the properties tab. Okay. So this is the way we can use the all the left hand side of the 
four tabs data templates map and properties tab clear any doubts if an assignment is clear what you have to create anybody have any doubts okay then within the edit report tab that means while representation level because all the data is retrieved report tab in the sense we are displaying the data while representation how can i filter the data so we are calling as report level filtering because we already retrieved while representation level report level filtering so how can we do in the second toolbar first icon that is show slash hide filter panel using this panel i am going to filter the your data okay <laughs> two types of filters are there <coughs> report level two types block level filtering global level filtering okay let us suppose here i have three blocks nothing but three format paste one time paste one more time change it as then this should be horizontal this should be cross tab okay no problem now i i want to i want to see the data for vertical table the data should be display where the state equal to dc because and you are expecting the respective block you want to filter then go for the block level filtering each format we can apply the filter separate separately then the global mean for the entire report tab we can filter <coughs> so i am duplicating this tab report one right click duplicate this first tab i am going to use for block filtering second tab i am going to use for global okay come to the first block block means each individual format i can apply the filter separate separately if i want to filter then select the block If your picture is confusing, then I am not disturbing her report. Then create a new document. Simply use the E fashion. Year, date, sales revenue, run the query. Now you can change. One time. Horizontally. Paste, cross-tab. Now, and you are expecting the vertical block should be display the data where the year equal to 2001. So, anyway, if I want to filter, if I want to use the condition, if I want to use the where clause, what are the requirements to define the filter? What are the requirements? object operator operand value object is year because 2001 belongs to which object year object that is the reason year object i have taken how many values he want to see use the equal to for single value in list for multiple value now operand says how many values 
on the 2001 he wants to see. So that is the condition we want to apply. Then the toolbar see the first icon. So show slash hide filter panel. Click on that. The report header level, please observe this extra box. You can show it, you can hide it. Whenever you want to apply, you can show. Whenever if you don't want, you can hide. That is extra box we are calling report filter. Whenever you are selecting a response respective block, it is displaying the block one block one of one, block one of two. This is block one. This is block one of one, block one of two. Okay, now you can decide which block you want to filter. This block I want to filter. Then, to apply the filter, what are the requirements? First object. Object, operator, operand. Where is my object? Very good. Data tab. Go to the data tab. You can here, here you can select. Object you can select. Slowly drag and drop into your extra panel. That is report filter. Drop there. Then this is the filter editor panel is open. Filtered object is here. Object is selected. What about remaining here? Operator. You can decide different different operator search here. I want to filter only single value. Then please use the equal to. No, no. I want to filter more than one value. Then use the in list. More than one value, please use the in list. Equal to for single value. If I use the English advantage, either I can give single value or more than one value. If I use the equal to, must and should I have to give only one. If I know the value, you can directly type the operand value if you know the value. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> if I don't know the value, then values from the list. Advantage, it is showing to you all the distinct values. Whatever the year values are available in the database, it is displaying there. Then the easily I can select, I can select the operand value. One way, I have to type directly if I don't know. Another way, you can select from the value as you wish. What the end user want to see 2001 data. So please use the 2001 data. Now please observe if the filter is applied only for vertical or remaining block. Only, yeah, only that particular filter is applied for only for vertical. Yeah, only for vertical block only. Not for the remaining blocks, please observe, because we are applying the block level filtering. Does that mean I have to set the particular block and I am applying? Then that will be applicable only for that block. Let us suppose for the horizontal block I want to filter. Then set the horizontal block, then you can decide what do you want to filter. Let us suppose end user wants me uh, state date state equal to DC data. Okay, then DC belongs to state data. Then I need the state object. Slowly drag and drop that state into that filter panel. Now, object is selected. Then the operator. Single value, please use the equal to. If you know the value, you can directly type. If I don't know, DC. Now, the horizontal block is filtered for DC. And user asked me, can you 
filter the data for cluster, year should be 2001 and year should be basic. You can add number of one condition for one block. Let's see that. First year should be 2001. You can add one more condition based on the state. See, slowly drag and drop onto the same box. State equal to BC. Whenever you are adding more than one condition, please observe the operator. What is the operator? What is the use of AND operator? What is the meaning of AND? Very good. Above condition should be satisfied. Below condition should be satisfied. Both the conditions should be satisfied. That is the use of AND operator. If I want to change to R, R, we can set those are the relational operators. AND and R. AND means both the conditions. R means any one of the conditions. Okay. So you can you can define more than one condition. There is no restriction. Okay. This is the way how we are applying block level filtering. I am duplicating this. So tab one belongs to block. Tab 2, I am going to make it as a global. Okay. These many block filters are applied. One for vertical, one for horizontal, and one for cluster. Okay. Now come to the global link. Okay. So now it is a global. If I want to remove, if any, any filter I want to remove, if you want to check first, the respective filters are applied for this. If you select automatically, your filter panel is displaying the respective filters. If you don't want, just delete button. Otherwise, simply drag to your data tab. Select the under operator, slowly drag and drop to data tab. Now, there is no filter for any block. No filter. No filter, no filter. Okay. Now I want to apply globally. If you want to apply globally, no need of selection of any format. I'm just selecting the background. Anybody can select background, no problem. Just mouse click on background. Then automatically entire tab will be selected. Now you can apply the filter as per your requirement. State equal to BC. Then please observe what happens. All the formats are affected because we apply it as globally. Okay. So this is the difference between block and the global. Global means enter tab. Block means each individual block. Here I applied one global condition. If you want to later to the single single block, we can apply differently. No problem. Here equal to 2001 here. If I want to apply conditions blockly, you can apply. No problem. Very equal to 2002. It is globally you can apply. So globally means the entire tab is affecting and block means for that particular block is affecting. Global block. So like that we can use the filter concept while representation level. Okay. But the report contain your data, all the data you have. All the data you have, 
while the representation level you are filtering. But the report already retrieved all the data from the database while representation level we are filtering. So those are report level filters. While representation level into the report we are trying to filter. Those are the report level filters. Please do one more assignment. Use the island. Universe name is island. Marketing. Then result and target. Please take the country year revenue. Report layout. Only one tab is enough. Tab one is enough. That should display three blocks, nothing but three formats. One is uh, vertical, one is cross tab, one is horizontal. Please uh, filter the data for vertical where the country is US. Cross tab here is 2000. Any one value you can take, okay? Either 2004 or 2001. But here, country should be US and year should be 2004. Okay. These are the blocks and the tab also you can create if you want. Same vertical, horizontal, cross tab. Apply the entire tab where the country is. US. That is the tab two. Okay, so these are the two assignments to the weekend. So please do the exercise. We'll meet on Monday again. Have a nice weekend. Okay. And I am going to send the slides. Please come to the Skype.